Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the HTC HD2 mobile phone. Now if you didn't see my earlier video, please do check out the channel. It's got a full unboxing and product tour of this handset. But in this video I'm going to be covering the camera and also the texting ability of the handset. Now the camera's located around the back, 5 megapixel autofocus with a dual LED flash. I've set up a shortcut to the camera on the home screen, so let's get that fired up now. Now, on this home screen we've got different flash settings which can be set to auto, or off, or permanently on. If I just quickly show you that dual LED, very, very bright. Let's switch that back off again. We've also got the shutter button here, and then we've got access to some options. We can zoom in and out, go to our gallery, go into camera settings and set the capture mode. Here we've got choices of photo, video, panorama, MMS, contacts picture or GPS photo. Then we've got some more settings here, and this is really for configuring the camera. We've got white balance, brightness, ISO auto, storage, self timer, advanced. And if I tap that advanced one, let's just go back into that and tap advanced, we're then presented with five further screens of options. Now I'm not sure the camera's going to pick this up very well, but we've got uh, options for resolution, widescreen, touch focus, review duration, quality, uh, image properties, effects, flicker adjustment, counter grid, help and about. So plenty of options on the camera. Now let's just pop my little model underneath the camera here. This is what I normally use for these tests. And let's take a photo. Now you can tap anywhere on the screen to get it to focus. Well. I'm going to just take this first one with it set to automatic and let's see how the camera performs. So let's tap to take that photo. And then we can go back, we can go to the gallery, bin it or share it. So let's go, it's gone back automatically. So let's this time set that flash to on. So this is permanently on. Uh, it's going to probably blow the colours because we're quite close to the uh, subject we're taking the photo of. But let's take a second one. And then this time let's go into our gallery application. Now you can see some of the sample images that have already been taken. And then we've got these two photos that we just took for this test. So let's tap on the first one which was taken with no um, flash. We can obviously zoom in on it. And we've got a good amount of detail there. Nice colouring. A little bit of jaggies around the edges of some of the lines. But that said, very nice quality. So I'm quite impressed with that, and certainly when I'm zoomed out view, it's very pleasing to look at. Let's just um, go to this one, which was the second photo we took. Uh, again, as I mentioned, that uh, light, the LED flash that was on, has blown the colours away. But certainly if there's a bit more distance between the HD2 and the subject, I think that would have performed a lot better. But it shows how powerful these dual LED flashes are. So good uh, result, really, all round for the camera. Now in use, I've been very pleased with the camera. There's some other ones I've taken here. This one, very nice detail. Again, if I zoom in, we've got nice crisp lines on this one, so it did a lot better job of capturing this particular image. And then we've got some samples that are already on the handset. Um, I can't really comment if these were taken with the HD2. I would assume not. Uh, they certainly look too nice. But certainly for viewing photos, the experience is very nice indeed. So now let's move on to the texting ability of the HD2. If I go across to my messages here, and I can tap on compose a new message. And this brings up a QWERTY keyboard in this area here. Let's just lay the handset down and let's try typing something. We go in the main message area here, and this, and it gives me suggestions as I'm typing and also some haptic feedback so I'm getting little vibrations on my uh, fingers to let me know that I've actually pushed a button so let's take a closer look at that well it's done a very good job of uh, 
doing that particular typing. This is my test of the HTC HD2, no mistakes there. So let's just delete all of that. And then if we flip around into landscape mode, then we're presented with a larger QWERTY keyboard. And again, I'll just do the same test again. much uh, nicer experience in this landscape even though I've made a couple of mistakes um, I could type a, felt, felt like I could type a lot quicker because we've got larger keys but as you can see I have made a couple of mistakes there but overall very nice experience the buttons are well laid out and I also like this fact that the little symbols or numbers above the letters uh, if I actually hold down for example on Q then it gives me the option of getting a number one I let go when it's highlighted the one and again with the next one so a nice way of accessing those extra symbols and this is thanks to HTC's uh, input into the interface with their Sense UI and this really nice keyboard that they've produced so for texting sending emails uh, absolute joy to use very responsive touchscreen uh, overall impressed with the texting abilities of the HTC HD2 well, thanks very much for listening. As I said earlier, there is another video on my channel covering the other features and a complete product tour of the HD2, so please do check that out. And please also come back soon to check out more videos on the Geek & Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.